it's not just about exercise, it's about uh, eating right and how easy it is to exercise. Um, it's more than just about weight control. It's more than just about losing or gaining weight or getting big and getting small. It has other concepts to it that will help you in life. Um, but when you exercise, you really should eat right. Like you shouldn't go work out for three hours and then go eat McDonald's. It's not a good combination. And uh, it's easier than you actually think for people that can't go to the gym for three hours a day or doesn't have stuff at home that they could just run on or you know what I mean. Like even if you don't have time, everybody's always busy. So there are things you can do in daily life that will help you in this, uh, a little bit. Um, from boosting your mood to improving your sex life, exercise can improve your life. The health benefits of regular exercise and physical activity are hard to ignore. And the benefits of exercise are yours for the taking regardless of your age, sex, or physical ability. So, no matter what, how old, how young, no matter, like, if you have any physical ability, whatever, you can always do something to improve your uh, body and your health. Um, it's more than just about weight control. There are benefits of exercise, like uh, it combats health uh, conditions and disease. You won't get sick as easy, your immune system gets filled, and that also goes with eating right as well. If you take in the right foods and like vitamin C and stuff, certain foods help your immune system. You won't get sick as easy. Um, it improves your mood and it boosts energy, promotes better sleep. Like, uh, you know, when you look better, you're going to feel better. That's one way to improve your mood. Another thing is it gives you energy so you're not tired and slouched all day. Your blood's flowing, your oxygen's in your veins. Like, you just feel better. And it promotes better sleep because after working out all day, you're going to be exhausted at the end of the night. You know, you're not just sitting down watching TV all day. Now that you're moving and doing stuff, you're able to sleep. Um, it improves your sex life and it improves your social life. You meet people at the gym. You have something to talk to somebody about, about how much weight you put up or how you exercise or what do you do and what are you doing this day to exercise. So, I mean, it's just a, it's a way to break the ice, I guess. Um, and when you exercise, you should really eat right, like uh, balance and calories. It's all about input to output. If you take in more calories than you put out, you're going to gain weight. If you take in less than you put out, you're going to lose weight. And if you balance, you'll stay the same. It's that simple. And uh, just, you can enjoy your foods, but avoid overeating. In today's society, the right amount you're supposed to eat is, is, way too, it is a lot less than what you get on a dinner plate when you go out to eat. You should eat a lot less than what the average serving is these days. Um, foods to increase, you should always eat your fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and switch to like low fat milk. Just low fat stuff is better. And like they say like you want to cut out carbs and fats, but that's not true. You want everything in your diet. You just it's it's how much of everything you should have. You should have more of one thing and less of another, but you should still have it all. Um, foods reduce is sodium intake and like it, it, it also just depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to gain weight you should eat certain foods but healthily like it, there's a way to do it. Um, it's easier than you think. This is just little tips you can do every day that will help you uh, get in a little bit better shape. Like uh, park far away from wherever you have to be. Like when, you, when you're at the grocery store or Walmart no matter where you go take the furthest parking spot Walk all the way there, and when you're in the store, don't get the push cart, get the hand carriages, and carry those around. That's an exercise in itself. Every time you grab something off the shelf, you have to put them down, you have to put, and then pick them back up. You're walking, and then don't bring a cart back to your car. Walk them all the way back to your car. That's a little exercise right there. Like, um, take a walk break whenever you can, find time during the day. You know, there's a commercial during TV. You're waiting on something to load. You're doing something. You can just get up and walk around. That's it's exercise. Like every little thing you do is exercise. Take stairs instead of an elevator or escalator. Like um, walk instead of drive when possible. This is a prime example. Is this campus? Like if it's not bad weather, walk up the hill. Don't drive your car. Don't do that. Like it, it sucks, but you know, it helps. Um, doing your favorite show. Like I said, exercise during commercials. Do stretches and try and maybe get like a. Uh, elliptical or treadmill and while you're watching TV just run you want to pay attention that you're actually even doing any exercise and the best way to get exercise is get some friends together and play a sport you you won't even realize that you're exercising and the time will fly and you'll love it um, in conclusion exercise is more than just a form of weight control studies in major hospitals like the Mayo Clinic show that exercise along with other food choices can affect your moods sleep habits sex life life expectancy and, and prevent fighting
Uh, and just remember, you can start today to improve these areas of your life. It doesn't require expensive gyms or programs. It only takes your desire to start with the smallest steps mentioned today.